Lamborghini is known for its fire breathing, menacing looking, violent sounding and super fast cars and the Huracan is one of the best selling Lamborghinis ever. Yes, the Lamborghini Urus is catching up in terms of the sales numbers but it was the Huracan that really set the record when it comes to selling fast and now we have a new Huracan. Now you see, there were a lot of Huracans in the making lots of additions, some were hardcore track oriented performance monsters while the rest, well there were a few other additions that were a, a little more mediocre, road oriented etc. And what we have here now is a best of both worlds sort of combination and I'm here to tell you all about it. Hello and welcome to Drive Spark, I'm Stephen Neal and this is the Lamborghini Huracan Technica. What it is, is basically well, combining the track oriented powertrain along with the road going chassis and drivetrain and well that makes it really perfect it's it's one of the most versatile lamborghini huracans yet according to the italian manufacturer and i'm here to tell you more about it so without further ado let's get started starting off with the design so right up front as you can see well you've got a very unique design now the huracan design hasn't changed much the silhouette is very much like the standard Huracan, however, now you get a few other elements that make it look very different indeed and that is this Y-shaped element right here. So as you can see these vents and veins right here, well, they seem very inspired by the Lamborghini Sian hypercar, the hybrid hypercar, of course, 775 bhp plus. Uh, well, that is one monster and well, this definitely seems to have been der derived from that. And the rest of the front end, especially the bumper, well, it does take inspiration from the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo Evo 2, which is Lamborghini's race car. Uh, and well, it looks absolutely fabulous. As you can see, there's, it's a layered design up front. So you've got two layers in the split up front. And then of course, this, the Raging Bull Lamborghini logo. Very beautiful color. Uh, it looks really nice. And of course, you've got the same headlamp Nothing much has changed in the headlamp, you've got the same LED DRLs, uh, projector units also. And then we move to the side, this is where the Huracan Technica looks the best, especially in this shade uh, with this color in the wheels. Now this, the wheel, well you've got your hexagonal bits in the wheel, uh, very similar to the standard Huracan's uh, wheels, uh, but it looks really fabulous, uh, especially the outline on the hexagonal elements in the alloy wheels, uh, looks really nice, 20 inch wheels of course. And then you've got that six spot uh, caliper in there, uh, decked in blue on this uh, particular model, on this particular car. And of course, a central wheel lock. And uh, well, that caliper there is a six piston caliper. And at the rear, you've got a four piston caliper. However, the tire size changes. The wheel size remains the same. It's a 20 inch also out here. But this one is a 305 section. Now that is a very, very wide wheel indeed check out the size of that wheel it is very wide and uh, well it looks really nice fabulous fabulous looking now this car needs such a rear, wide rear tire because it is rear wheel drive also it has a rear wheel steer so uh, that is what this car is all about now you've got vents on the side here and the lp640 badging as well so lp642 which signifies two wheel drive and rear wheel drive that is and then of course vents on the side here more vents and uh, the roof well it's beautifully contoured nicely shaped and then of course the glass window at the rear where you can check out the masterpiece of an engine that is the 5.2 liter v10 engine looks absolutely stunning and also offers stunning performance now in terms of the performance let's talk about the power figures well it has a peak power output of 630 bhp at 8000 rpm yes there is a screaming v10 engine and then uh Talk output of around 565 nm and that comes out onto the rear wheel uh, via a seven speed dual clutch gearbox uh, you've got all the modes you want you've got uh, a mode for the road a mode for the track etc and also you've got lots of other gadgets in there i'll take you to the insides in just a bit now let's check out the rear now this is another place where some changes are made on the technica uh, for example you've got these hexagonal uh, exhaust outlets which are well they replace the round hex uh, round outlet uh, found on the standard huracan and well that is the lamborghini logo right there and lots and lots of elements especially with the diffuser at the rear so there you have the diffuser very sharp looking and then you got this spoiler now this spoiler well it increases downforce by up to 30 percent when compared to the standard huracan 
and uh, well it also makes it look rather stunning now it's time to go inside and i'll tell you more about the interiors so there you have it look at that finished in a fabulous shade of course this is all alcantara and well you've got the blue uh, highlights and also blue stitching you've got carbon fiber elements here and there and then of course this flat bottom steering now usually you find flat bottom steering wheels on many vehicles these days but now on this car well this flat bottom steering is of course the sportiest of them all uh, you've got a completely digital instrument cluster paddle shifters of course uh, what's a lamborghini without paddle shifters and then in the center you've got this console lots of connectivity options lots of switches and of course that that engine start stop switch right there fighter jet style and well it looks rather rather fabulous very nice interior especially in this color well lamborghini india certainly has picked up this car very well so that was the interior of the lamborghini huracan technica and uh, well we are in bangalore currently where this car is being displayed at the bangalore launch now this car was launched in the indian market in august 2022 uh, for a price of rupees 4.04 crores the price remains the same but that is the extra room price now bangalore uh, imposes the highest amount of taxes on such cars and as a result the on-road price in bangalore will be the highest in the country and uh, well there are quite a few who have already booked this or so i'm told uh, but of course we do not know the names of those who have booked it but then this car is selling like hotcakes and uh, well it should because it is perfect combination of both worlds high performance and road going abilities and also well it could be the last production huracan there might be a few other special editions but production huracan well the technica is the last of them so do let us know in the comments what you think of the huracan technica and uh, well what you think this car should be spec in now you can spec the car in a lot of colors there are a few colors here i'd like to show them to you so you have these colors here so these are the interior colors alcantara leather etc lots of materials you got even seat belt colors on display here and then there are the body colors so these are the metallic finishes then you got the matte finish colors and this is the color in which this car is this particular car is decked in greek geo artist and uh, well lots of other colors right here and uh, well lots of customization options including the wheels now this is one wheel that i would definitely like to show you and this is it so this is a lightweight performance wheel same shape same design of course but it looks rather fabulous especially in this color and then this one looks even better if you'd ask me this is a standard wheel and uh, there you go so this is the lamborghini huracan technica the last hura if you may call it and uh, well looks rather fabulous and we are in absolute awe of lamborghini's design and that's it from us for now as the rain pours down on us uh, well we're gonna continue checking out this car do let us know in the comments what you think of this car and that's it from us so this is stephen neil signing off for drive park stay safe and drive safe